On a quiet suburban street in Wembley, North London, it's fairly obvious the owner of Heritage House is a royal fan. In fact, that turns out to be something of an understatement. There are many clues collected over the years, and for Margaret Tyler, there's never been more excitement than over a certain wedding in Windsor. I'm so looking forward to the royal wedding. I went to Prince Edward's wedding there. I'm a friend of St George's, so it's like my second home in a way. And I think it's going to be really different to, to uh, William and Kate's. Obviously, they don't have to bring in so many people from abroad and that sort of thing. Uh, they've got a lot of their friends come in, the people from Suits, and, you know, and it's going to be different. It's difficult for Margaret to squeeze into her sitting room for royal mementos. She's always one of the first to arrive at any royal event and has met the Queen twice. But to her, Prince Harry has become extra special after the death of his mother, Diana. They've suffered badly over her death and it's not surprising because, you know, she was such a, a wonderful mother, so how could they not? And Harry said, he said, I can still feel her hugs. And that was so sweet. And when he walked behind her coffin, I mean, it was sad for William, but he was that bit older. But Harry looked so small and defenceless, and we all sort of adopted him, I think, on that day, and we want it to go well for him. Camping out in Windsor won't be allowed, but nothing's going to stop Margaret getting a prime spot outside St George's Chapel. I'll be there for the day, yes, in Windsor. You've got to be there by, by about nine o'clock in the morning for the simple reason they're going to close Windsor down. They're going to stop trains arriving there afterwards and everything like that. What time are you getting there then? As early as possible. Um, Ten to six is the first tube out of here. So, um, you know, I would hope to get there by nine o'clock, even if I bang thinking? on the gate. <laughs> for Margaret, it's a case of eight days to go and counting. Sarah Harris. BBC London News.